Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 37, and apologies for my voice today. I may have been shouting a little too loudly when England won last night in the Euro semi-final, so my voice is still recovering. But enough about England, let's talk about Superman. Today we have many more photos and videos from the Superman set, including some potential spoilers, but don't worry, I give you a lot of warning when we are about to talk about them. But so on with the video. In exactly one year's time today, Superman will release in cinemas. That is mental. It's only one year away and that time will fly by. I remember when we just got the announcement of who our new Superman and Lois would be and now suddenly filming is almost complete and the movie comes out in just a year's time. Now normally the first trailer releases about five or six months before the movie's release and we've talked about this before so we should expect the first trailer in January or February next year. And as I have said previously, I expect they will utilize Super Bowl to present our first look at Superman. But hopefully, James Gunn gives us some tidbits here and there up until that point. But so, with that in mind, let's take a look at the latest set photos. We start with the new sets they have built. Now, all of these photos have come from the Greater Cleveland Partnership, so a big thank you to them. But we start with a poster in Metropolis, and it's not not the actual information that is interesting, but the design of it. The same retro fonts and colours that we have seen scattered all over Metropolis, and I love the consistent and distinct aesthetic that they are going for in Metropolis. You have to have this city feel unique and have its own personality, and that's exactly what they are doing. And then later on that day, we got an image of a huge hole in the ground, and then yesterday, we saw who was in that hole, and it was Superman. Now obviously from this angle, it looks looks a little silly, but there are two things I really like about this. Firstly, the fact they are using a practical set like this. I'm glad the destruction has literally been carved into the actual location, rather than just a couple of pieces of rubble around him and the rest being green screen. And secondly, the size of the crater Superman creates. Superman is a strong guy. When he hits the ground, you need to feel that impact. And this crater clearly does show that. And from other angles, we can see the proper position of Superman within the crater. And so I am guessing the villain he is fighting has thrown him or punched him down to earth and by the looks of where the extras are looking it appears that they are either looking towards whoever sent superman into the ground or are looking up to where superman flies away after getting out of the crater now maria deferia has returned to cleveland to film some more superman and what if she is the one who is fighting superman at this point in time it makes sense based on what we know of her character in this movie and as the last week and a half of set photos have probably been from the same fight scene, I imagine that she will be involved in this fight. Now take a deeper look at the extras costumes they are wearing. They have a very distinct look to them. They are all mostly wearing browns and beiges and the actual designs of their clothing is very 70s-esque. But they also have smartphones so clearly they are mixing eras together. Modern technology with retro designs. And this makes Superman stand out more but also fit in more at the same time. His colours are more vibrant and makes him stand out but the design of the costume fits in with the fashion of the city. It makes the suit just work so well. A lot of people have been judging it based on Henry Cavill's costume, which I get as he was the last Superman, but his movies were set in a modern world. It was as if Metropolis was just a regular city where everyone just wore modern clothing and designs. So if he wore the trunks and a more classic look, it would look weird and out of place. But in this movie, the trunks and brighter suit work far better because Gunn is making making Metropolis have a more classic feel to it with a retro futuristic vibe and their main hero has to represent that as well. So this works perfectly in my opinion. Now just quickly away from set photos and onto some news about the production of Superman. William Hoy is attached as an editor on James Gunn's Superman. His previous credits include The Batman, War for the Planet of the Apes and Watchmen. So he has got some great movies to his name which means yet another win for the Superman film. Now there is a slightly spoilerish video caught on camera so if you don't want to see it skip to this timestamp on screen where we go through some other photos from the set today. 
But for those who do want to see the video, here it is. Here we can see Superman trying to get out of the crater and the extras are helping him get up. This has some real Spider-Man 2 vibes to it, where the people on the train help carry Spider-Man. And I love this concept, seeing the hero now being helped by the people who he spends every day trying to protect is such a heartwarming and beautiful moment. It connects us to the hero more because we can see the impact he has on these people's lives and how they want to help him if they can. It's something we haven't really seen in a Superman movie before, so I'm glad we are going to see it in this one. We've We've had Superman picking up and smiling with kids, and now we have pedestrians helping Superman get up. You get a community vibe from these scenes, where they are just as defensive and protective of Superman as he is of them. I just love that. Superman is that beacon of hope. You see him and you smile. And this movie seems to really be putting that at the center of the story, and I'm all for it. Okay, so now back away from the spoiler photos, here we have Superman out of the crater, and we can see this suit has dust and dirt from the debris staining it, and that seems to be something we will be getting more of. These costumes won't be pristine the whole time, like costumes have before, they will realistically react to what environments they are in, and I think yet again, that sells the impact of whatever is happening in that scene. Now on to a little funny and cute segment of the video before we return to a set video that showcases an action scene in progress. Here we have Rachel Brosnahan with a dog, and they're having a a great time. Unfortunately, I can't share the audio in fear of copyright, but I can share the video of James Gunn and the dog also having a great time. Oh my god. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey, everybody! Hey! Hey! She's like a gospel singer. Hey! <laughs> 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 So it looks like they are having an amazing time on set, and it's really nice to see everyone so happy. But now onto the spoilery action scene caught on camera, and the rest of the episode will just be talking about this video. So if you don't want to see it, then this is where you should end the video. I'm really grateful for you watching, and I hope to see you on the next episode. But now, onto the spoiler video. So the progressive field in Cleveland will stand in for Lord Tex field for the Metropolis Meteors, and from this video we can see that two characters are flying through the stadium and one of them is being dragged through the ground. Now I don't know about you, but to me it looks like the person being pushed into the ground is Superman, and the person pushing Superman into the ground is a woman, which if my guess is correct will be the engineer. So we can start to see that maybe Superman and the engineer have a huge fight throughout Metropolis, ending in Superman being defeated somehow. And then he gets arrested by Rick Flagg, the engineer, and the person in black who I assume is Ultraman. I think that is the sequence that we will see happen, and then we see Superman taken into Metropolis City Hall, and from that point on, we don't really know. I have my own theories on it, but currently it's just a guess. But here we have the biggest spoiler of all. Crypto has been spotted on set, and we can see that they are going for a much cheaper suit on him. Now, obviously, this isn't actually Crypto, but just a very cute dog dressed as Superman on the set. But it does look like that there will be many extras, including dogs, who are showing their support for Superman, and that's good to see. We need to see how the general public loves and appreciates Superman. Like we have seen people in the Spider-Man movies support Spider-Man. He always feels connected to the people of New York, and we see that through his interactions with people in the movie. And we need that for Superman as well, and it looks like we are getting that. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!